Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaquil. I am a licensed esthetician and I am the owner of Timeless Beauty and Company. And today I'm going to be doing my part three of my facial timing series. Today I'm going to be showing you all a few tips and tricks on what I do in the treatment room when I'm getting prepared for my facial. Normally throughout the day, I could have up to four to five facials. So I'm gonna show you all some of the things that I do so that I can reduce the time between uh, one client leaving and another client coming in. Um, I think these things are going to help you because this is something that I struggled with when I first started off as an esthetician. So I think that by showing you a couple of tips and tricks that you all will be able to improve on your facial timing and maybe make some other adjustments of your own as well. So I'm not gonna take long, I'm gonna get right into it you all. So let's get started. All right, you all, so I have already sanitized and washed my hands. So I'm gonna put on my gloves before I apply my linen. So one thing I always like to do is disinfect my protector sheet. Then I take my cavi wipes, of course. I can never get that top right, you guys, it's a shame. So then you're just gonna wipe every inch of your protective sheet with the cavi wipe. Now, mind you, I have already sanitized this, but this is just an extra thing that I do when I come in in the morning and I start setting up um, for my day, I wipe it down again. And then I'll take my fitted sheet from my drawer nearby and I'll put it on my bed. Y'all, I've had the hardest time putting this flat sheet on. I can never figure out what corner it is. Um, I guess I'm on a roll today, y'all. I did good. Okay. So once I put that flat sheet on, I mean my uh, fitted sheet, I'm gonna put my flat sheet on next. So I have that nearby as well. And then I just fold it down one time. And then I'll take one of my mini throws. You're gonna learn. That's good to have a good amount of throws in your um, treatment room. This is just the extra comfort. Makes them feel more like they're at home. And just fold it over. I'm gonna take my Lysol again. This is already clean, but I like to Lysol it and spray with some more Febreze. Then I'll take my pillow. This is already clean, but I'm going to Lysol that too. Just in case. Hold on, let me get this turned up. Um, and then I'm going to take a hand towel and put it over here, over the top of my pillow. I have my head wrap that goes on the next layer. And this is for the client's head to keep their hair out of their face. And then I'll put an extra hand towel triangle triangular style and i'll put that over so when i take the head wrap to wrap it they'll have the towel under it too so i always use two hand towels for my pillow and one head wrap. all right you all so as you see that was a pretty easy simple setup for the bed um that took me should have taken me less than five minutes but because i'm talking to you I'm sure it's taking a little bit longer and at least you're gonna grab your body towel um this is for the clients to Take their tops off and wrap around so that you can cleanse the neck and the decollete area. And then I'm just gonna put this nicely folded towel right here. And then after that, I can pretty much um, go on, move on to my next step. The next step that I would do would be to start getting my towels wet and putting them in the hot towel warmer. And then filling up my electric teapot kettle and getting my steamer heated up. All right, you all, so I don't have a client coming in right now, so I'm just gonna do a little role playing uh, when it comes to putting uh, my towels in my hot towel warmer. So I would just lift this top part up and then I would pour water up to the level that it says. 
and then I will put this back on. I will turn my notch all the way to turn it on. And you can hear it clicking and ticking, barely, but, um, and I will take this top off. I will go and I would put water onto my hand towels. Now, once I put the water onto the hand towels, you wanna make sure you wring them out really well. Um, so we would do the hot dog and the hamburger style to fold them like a hot dog and then fold it like a hamburger and you get your slot towel. So this just gives you the ability to put more towels into your towel warmer. Um, so I could fit about uh, three to four towels in here if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted to fit more, I would have to get way smaller towels and that's not something I'm willing to sacrifice. Um, but we'll just pretend that I'm heating these towels up right now and getting those prepped. By this time, I will have my water filled in my tea kettle and I will turn this on to start getting this heated up. And next, I will turn on my steamer. So I will, of course, fill this up with water first and then I will turn on my light and then I will turn it, oops, I will turn it on. Uh, and let the water start heating up in my steamer. Again, I don't have a client coming in right now, so I don't want to do all this for no reason. Um, I'm just showing you all uh, for video purposes. So I will go ahead and put my steamer to the side because when the client comes in, um, I don't want them to like trip over the steamer or anything else. So I wait to until they get in here and actually lay down. Next, I would take a look, um, a quick look at their client intake form that I had them fill out and then I would determine what products that I need so I keep my products near me during my facials right up under my bed in case I need to grab something. two boxes here that I keep all of my skincare products in and what I would do is I would of course probably set them right here and start looking at what products that I need to use because my next step will be cupping my products. So I have little cups like this that I got from Dollar Tree that I can cup my mask, my moisturizers, my SPFs in. And I like that it has a lid and then I just set it right in my mini refrigerator. Um, and then I have these other bowls that I also use for my mask and my moisturizers. Um, it just pretty much depends, but I really love to use these. If I know I'm having like four clients for the day, and I know what moisturizers and SPFs and masks that need to be used for them, I'm gonna cup all of these up and put them in my mini fridge. So when I'm done with one client, that's less work that I have to do and it's less time that I have to spend. So all I have to do is sanitize, change my bedding and grab my bowls and um, get to work. So this really, really does help um, this saves me so much time, y'all. This is one of the tricks that I wanted to show you all about doing my facials. If you're gonna have, if you're gonna have those days where you're gonna have four to five facials a day, you need to get these because if these are clients that you know, um, like consistent clientele, this is going to help you uh, stay prepared throughout the day, and it's less work that you have to do in between facials, so you can cut down that timing. That's why I told you guys I only space my appointments out thirty minutes because I already have my product cupped up for the most part, even if it's just having my SPF cup, cupped up because I only use one SPF for all of my clients. Just simple little steps like that will help you so much throughout the day, you all. So I hope that tip helped. Um, if I'm coming in and I normally have one or two clients for the day, I'll just use these bowls. I don't need to, you know, really cup anything up. I'll just do it as I go. Um, but like I said, if you know you're going to have those really busy days, you know, or you're just starting out and you're just trying to get better at your facial timing in general, this is what you want to use, you all. I have a little school case, um, like pencil box. That's really the name of it. Um, and so if I know, for instance, I'm having four facials for the day, I know I'm probably going to need about uh, 15 brushes, 20 scoopers. Um, I'm going to put that on here. So I'm going to set that off down here on my last shelf of my tear cart roller. And that's another thing that saves me time because when I'm switching between a client, I'll rip those sheets off, sanitize, put some new sheets on, grab my product. Most of it is already cupped up. Um, 
figure out what other bottles I need that don't require me to put them in a bowl. And then I will just grab however many um, brushes or scoops that I'm planning to use for that facial and it's right by me. So again, this is another tip that I think will really help you all in a room. Plan, plan, plan. If you know you're giving facials um, all throughout the day, you need to be coming to your sleep at least an hour prior. I would say an hour and a half if you're new um, because you need time to prep and get yourself together for the facial. Um, and doing things like this early in the day before you have one, two, three, four, maybe five facials throughout the day is definitely going to help you stay prepared and then everything won't be all over the place. You won't find yourself having to reach over here for this, reach over here for that. You will find yourself cutting down so many times, so much time in between facial appointments. Another thing to consider you all will be during your facials, um, when you are prepping in between clients, uh, how many facial sponges are you using? You should know that anyways, but that's another good thing to have laid out in advance. When you're doing extractions, whether you're using gauze or cotton balls, I'll always get a few of these out too. That way I'm cutting down on my noise in between um, during my facials, but also I'm cutting down on time during my facials because I already have these laid out. So this is another thing to look out for. I normally have everything that I'm using, like my bowls, my scoops, and my brushes at the top, along with my sponges. Um, yeah, anything that I'm using, I normally try to keep them on the top and not put them too far below. Also, my gloves. I also like to keep out however many gloves that I'm using for each facial out already too. Again, that cuts down on the noise and the timing of your facials as well. So these are all more things to consider when setting up. Again, you don't want to have to move two different, too many different places. You see, I have one rolling cart here and one rolling cart here. So over here, of course, I'm going to put more tools like my extraction tools, my skin scrubber, um, more bowls, anything extra I need will be here too. So as you see, I don't even have to get up, honestly, unless I'm putting something, uh, putting a wet towel in my trash can which is right here. Um, and then I have a little step stool trash can right here. So I don't have to really move you all. And that's the goal um, is to not have to move around and make a lot of noise doing your facials and also to cut down on your facial timing too. So um, I really hope that this is helping you all. Next, I'm gonna start cutting on all my lights in my room and setting the mode. Turn on my moonlight, I have a remote for that. Turn on my candles. I'm also going to plug in my clock so that I can keep track of my facial timing as well. You also want to make sure that you have a dry erase board to write down your appointments for the day so that you don't lose track and you can look at the clock and look at what time your next appointments are and cross them off as you go. All right, you also at this point, your steamer should be hot, your towel should be hot. You should have everything set up. You should have your products laid out for the day. Everything should be sanitized. Your lights should be on, music going. So at this point, I'm gonna go take my gloves off, wash my hands, and then your client should be coming in any minute. So again, I hope this helped you all as far as facial timing goes. Um, this is something that's going to help you and be so essential to your success in becoming an esthetician. No one wants to come in here and be here for two hours when they're supposed to be here for one. So try to keep that in mind too, that people do have other things to do with their lives and they're coming in to get a service done. And let's just keep it simple like that. Thank you all. And before I end this video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next week. Bye.